is going on guys, it's Mr. Bison Gaming here, coming with a brand new video. This is going to be a guide for the summer room, uh, the summer garden, sorry, for uh, the Sorceress's Garden. And the reason I'm bringing out this guide, and only this guide for the Sorceress's Garden, is because it's one of the best XP ratings for thieving, in personal opinion. Now, there's two different ways you can do it. You can get these two to sync up completely, uh, this elemental here and this elemental here, and one click it. But to be honest, I personally think it's a waste of time because it takes way too long to set up and get to the point where you can run through the entire maze without watching. So all you have to do is click exactly where I'm clicking and I'll do one run and then I will tell you the uh, best times to click on each elemental. Uh, personally as well, I believe this is one of the quickest ways of getting Fever XP apart from blackjacking. And it, to be honest, fine, it's click intensive and it takes a lot of concentration. But, to be honest, it's less click intensive than blackjacking, and I'm really lazy and couldn't be asked to blackjack my way to 72 thieving. Um, I've also found out that I will be losing uh, time playing RuneScape due to um, schoolwork and also a lot of dedication being put into my final year at school. So yeah, I will only really be playing two days a week on RuneScape. And that's through personal decision, nothing else. And to be honest, I'm more than happy to only spend two days playing RuneScape. But that means that a lot more series will be happening, and yeah. Okay, so that run near the end was really bad, and it started to get a little bit uh, weird. But yeah, basically, the Summer Garden, when you teleport to the middle, is over here. You're going to want to open the gate, obviously, so that you can actually get into the garden. And this elemental, I find to be the easiest to get past. What you want to do is wait for him to get, and just rebound right there, the moment he rebounds, click here, or you can actually run right the way through if you time it just right. But for that, you need to wait for the bounce. So the moment he gets there, now, that's when you run if you just want to one-click it right the way up here. This one, very basic and simple. The moment he goes past here, click because of the delay, and run over here. Uh, this bit doesn't really matter as this elemental seems to be pretty much blind. So yeah, the moment it kind of passes you here, you're pretty much safe to run. Also, remember the click delay. I have a little bit more because I'm lagging at the moment. So I'm trying to compensate the, uh, the best I can for that. But yeah, this is um, every squirt juice that you make. Use It, it takes two squirt juice. There, uh, two summer squirt. Skirks? Squirt. Squirk? Skirk juice. Uh, it takes two of the fruits. To make one juice, each juice is worth 3k XP. So you can kind of work out, um, yeah, how much XP you're going to get. I think I worked it out that if I do 21 in an inventory, it's something like 63k XP. I just completely blanked out what you're supposed to do. Okay, wait for it to go back around and I'll show you. When it gets to here, you're safe to start running and you want to come over to this little patch here. If you want herbs, come here, and I believe it's, um, I don't actually know what herbs it is, you, you're not really here for herbs, but yeah, if you want herbs, click there. Now for here, you want to wait until it gets right before it turns on that white flower and click over here. This bit is a little bit hard to time, if you've got it just right, you can time it to the point where, if I run now, I should be able to make it. Just like that. So the moment uh, one passes here and the other goes up to around there, you're pretty much safe. Now, I know this guide hasn't been good, but hopefully I can release some good ones in the coming couple of uh, days. As I've only really got until Wednesday, so I have to start proper knuckling down at school. So, yeah, um, a new series I'm going to start is a free-to-play um, GE only uh, zero to, I'm going to say about 20 mil, because I think it's possible to get that much free to play. Um, if you care to disagree, you can disagree, but yeah, I'm thinking that's how much I can get. And also I think it'll be interesting for free to play, uh, players on old school RuneScape, just to see, you know, you can make money and you don't have to be a member to do it. But yeah, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be funding members on that account through the money that I earn as well. If that makes it easier, I'm going to do that. Um, I got the idea from Beckscape, I think his name is, or something like that, and he did a, no it wasn't him, who was it, a friend, a friend did a 1, uh, 0 to 50 mil in the GE 
on a members account, so I'm going to try and recreate that on a non-members and make it a little bit more of an easier goal. But yeah, uh, like, comment, sub, I've been Mr. Bison Gaming, and for now, goodbye!